are those geese? I hope you can't hear that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monica. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup basket for the month of January. So I'm going to try to go in order of application to the face. So I'll start with primer. So the two primers that I'm going to be using for the month of January, the two, oh, I just realized that they match. They're both purple. So they're two like little sample sizes that I have. One is the Becca First Like Priming Filter and the other one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the pore minimizing version. Now I've used these two once today. I have it on today. I use the Becca all over and then I use the Smashbox just where like my pores are really big. And so far I'm liking this combination and I'm about halfway through the Becca and I'm about a third of the way through the Smashbox so if I could I would like to get through both of these by the end of the month. Next the foundation combination that I'm really loving and I'm using this month is a combination of the Fenty Pro Filter foundation. I have the shade 160 along with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Y245. Now I've been having a lot of trouble trying to find a, a shade of foundation in my collection that matches me by itself just because I'm at a weird like in between season time right now. Like I think this is the palest that I'll, I'll ever be. So not a lot of my foundations are this pale. Now mixing these two together it's still a little darker than like my chest but it still looks nice and it looks natural. I was wearing this combination for the first time when I got a bunch of compliments on my skin even from my grandma. She said what are you wearing? Like it looks you know really natural today. So I really like this combination and I'm almost done with the Fenty foundation surprisingly. I only have like this much left in the bottle. And then the Makeup Forever, I'm st I've still got a decent amount in. So I would like to mix these two together until I run out of the Fenty. I have two face powders that I'm currently using. One is one that I'm trying to finish up. It's the Balm Sexy Mama Translucent Powder. It's the one that I've got a decent amount of pan on right here. If you would like to focus right there. So I'm trying to finish that one up. So I use that as an all over like setting powder, but I'm also really loving my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I've actually, this was a domed product and it's got a pretty nice dip in the middle of it. I've been using this every day after like using the translucent powder to set. I use this just like on the high points. It sets it a little more and it gives a nice glow to the skin and I absolutely adore this powder. I have one bronzer and I have two contours in my everyday basket. So the bronzer that I'm using is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just the regular bronzer shade. Ever since I hit pan on this, I've been using it daily because I really want to see that pan grow because it took me so long just to hit that little amount of pan. I've had this for, you know, over a year and I just now hit pan on it. I hit pan like a week ago. And the two contours that I'm using, they're more high end. I have one Kevin Aquan and one from Burberry. The Kevin Aquan is the contour duo. It comes with a highlight. I use the highlight every now and then, but it is a very sparkly bright in your face highlight so i don't really use it for like every day but that contour is like the perfect shade you see it is like the perfect cool toned ashy shade for every day and i've been loving this one i've been meaning to try out the burberry one more it's along the same lines it's a nice ashy tone but since I've been loving the Kevin Aquan and the bronzer from Physicians Formula, which if I use that with a light hand, I can actually contour with that as well. But I've had the Burberry just sitting in my collection for a while and I wanted to give it more love. So I put it in my everyday basket, hoping that I would use it more. Now to move on to eyes. I have a couple of palettes in here, but the reason is because I am comparing all of them for a future video that I am doing. So the three that I have, I have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I have the ColourPop Yes Please palette, and I have the Bad Habit Solstice palette. I've already given my thoughts on the Natasha Denona versus the ColourPop in my top 7 eyeshadow palettes of 2017. I'll go ahead and link that above, but this is what those two look like. Now what I'm really doing is I'm comparing the Bad Habit palette to both the Natasha Denona and the ColourPop to see if it's actually worth it. 
So as you can see, this one definitely has a lot more shade dupes for the Natasha Nodona than the ColourPop one. And here it is side by side with the ColourPop. So I was very excited to pick this up. I did pick up quite a few palettes from Bad Habit from the Shop Hub. Shop Hub from the Shop Hush app. If you would like to see a full video on all of my Bad Habit palettes and how I think they work compared to the originals that I also have, just let me know down below. I would love to do a video like that if you're interested. So right now, all three of these are in my everyday because I'm trying to compare them just to see which one I like better. Staying with eyes, the, um, the eyeliner that I use is a liquid liner that I use every day that has not changed. It is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I love this liner. I have compared it to more high-end, a few more drugstore brands. This beat out the Physician's Formula liner that I love for the longest time. And I actually did try out um, the Kat Von D liner for the first time a few weeks ago. I tried it in three colors. None of them were as good as the Snix liner. So I've been using this without fail every day. For mascara, I've been mixing, or not mixing, but I've been layering two mascaras. One is the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte that I got from, I think this was from 500 Point Perk from Sephora. And then the other one is a new favorite. It is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. And I got this, I believe it was also a Point Perk. Actually, no, no, it was in a Sephora Play Box and i had heard so many things about it and i had just recently tried it out there's the actual brush i love the shape of the brush i don't know if it's this size because it's like a mini sample size but this is the perfect size for my eye so it gets right up in there the formula is great it's nice and clumpy it really just makes my lashes just look so voluminous and and black and long and I absolutely love this mascara. So the Tarte mascara is really great at coating the lashes and making them flare out while the Marc Jacobs really bunches um, bunches it up at the bottom at the base of the lashes and flares them out and I just love them together. They both last throughout the day, no flaking, no transfer. I love this combination. So moving on to brows, I've been trying out two new brow products. One is from ColourPop and one is from e.l.f. I have the e.l.f. brow pencil in... what, what color? I think... Could you shut up, Mr. Geese? So I have the e.l.f. brow pencil in just the black shade right here, and then I have the ColourPop brow boss in soft black. I will say, I like that they both come with nice size spoolies. The ColourPop one is a little bit smaller and a little bit more tapered whereas the whereas the elf one is a little bit bigger i find i can really brush out my hairs with both of these personally i am liking the formula of the elf one more just because it is a little bit creamier it does go on a little bit softer and it's not as hard as the color pop one whereas with the color pop one i feel like i really have to dig it in to see some of the product come off on my brows if the elf one i just have to brush it through lightly and it's there for clear brow gel i've just been using the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel it's your regular spoolie clear brow gel i did get a sample of this from sephora it was a hundred point perk a couple of weeks ago and then after using up the sample i bought the full size and then one last thing for setting spray i do want to throw in that i've been loving the mac prep and pime pime I have been loving the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the lavender scent. I got the Snowball Collection 3 set pack with this one, a coconut one, and the rose one. I used up the coconut one first. I'm not a huge fan. I don't really like the scent of coconut, false or real coconut. And the rose I absolutely love, so I've been saving that one for last. The lavender one, I've been using it here in the middle in between them, and I absolutely love this one as well. I see that they just came out with these in the full sizes, so once I run out of this one and the rose one, I think I'm going to purchase the rose full size, and if I enjoy that one, I'll probably go on and do the full size of the lavender as well. So that's everything in my makeup basket for January. What is in your makeup basket? Let me know down below. I would love to hear this. I would love to do one of these for every month in 2018. It is one of my goals for this year just so that I can get a handle on what I've been using more, what I've been liking, and really rotate more out in my collection. So thank you for joining me, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Those damn geese are back again.